Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny, and in this video today, I'm going to show you guys who's going to be lucky in love and lucky in money in 2024. <laughs> you guys got that? Which zodiac signs are going to be lucky in love and lucky in money in 2024? Uh, where this is, for those who don't know, I'm a real astrologer. I'm a professional astrologer. I used to write some of the horoscopes for some of the newspapers up here in Canada, and I still do the horoscopes for you guys. I do private readings and all that kind of stuff. Whatever, whatever. This is also a psychic channel. The Sunny Side's a psychic channel. We guess tarot cards and do a lot of fun stuff here. All right, whatever. Also, I haven't done a video for you guys in a while, and I will get back to making fun videos. The next one is going to be fun. Not as This is a more serious video. The next one is going to be fun, like who's the most, uh, what are the top, Who's the most uh, like gay zodiac sign? They just give you fun, but this one is this one is kind of real. And if you watch me do astrology live, you'll see it. All right, here we go. That's the intro. First up, I'm going to talk about who's going to be the most unlucky sign first. Here we go. Wow, my intros are long, right? <laughs> okay, so here we go. So first off, this is the deal. Who are the most unlucky zodiac signs so some of you guys are going to absolutely break up in relationships and i think that's a, just a lock some of you are going to get divorced break up in relationships some of you are going to lose your jobs some of you are going to lose a lot of money uh there's heartbreak and there's a lot of love you're going to lose your love of money this year okay you guys got that not everybody but some of you now for the and here we go so if your zodiac sign if you are a Gemini, Sagittarius, let's start with Gemini and Sagittarius. If you're a Gemini or a Sagittarius, you are going to have a very bad 2024, <laughs> seriously. So this is for Sun, very seriously. If your Sun is in Gemini or Sagittarius, or if your Moon is in Semini, Gem or if you're Ascendant, right? Obviously, you're Ascendant. But it's not only that. Very, very sincerely and seriously. And this is why I'm doing it like this instead of the fun style. If your Venus is in Gemini or Sagittarius, you guys are going to get divorced or you're going to break up in relationships or you're going uh, and or you're going to lose a lot of money this year. Guys like uh, so Gemini's Gemini risings, Gemini Venus, Gemini moons, Sagittarius, Gemini Venus, moons, like these guys are in a lot of trouble. OK, that's the deal. Guys like Elon Musk. He is a Gemini Venus, I believe. He's going to lose a lot of money this year. You, well, I called this a while ago. I know you guys laughed at me. Oh, he's not the richest guy. He was never going to lose his money. Sonny. Yeah, that guy's going to be broke ass <laughs> next summer. He's going to lose his money and his, and his girl. So there you go. Next, anyone. So stay on top of it. Super unlucky. Gemini Sagittarius are unlucky in love and money. Next, more unlucky in love. Virgo. If you have anything in Virgo, once again, especially Venus, you are going to be unlucky in love. Not so unlucky in money, but you'll be unlucky in love. Uh, Virgos are going to have difficulty in love this year. All right, next. What else? Okay, so that's the deal. Oh, one more. Major unlucky. <laughs> it's a major unlucky. Scorpios. Yeah, I know. The sexy guys, right? Scorpios. Scorpios are riding the dry spell in love. <laughs> there is like Saturn is dropping a monster size old school cock block right in your relationship. Good luck, Scorpio. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Next. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Super unlucky this year. Gemini Sagitt in lucky, unlucky in love. Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Scorpio. We're gonna do a roundup at the end, right? My videos are long. Watch on a fast forward. Next. However, said that, having said that for Scorpio, there's a possibility of some sudden and unexpected, very sudden and unexpected uh, something is going to happen in your relationship in March, April, May kind of time period. Very unexpected in relationships. Unexpected divorce, unexpected marriage, something is going to happen. All right, next. That's just for Scorpio. Okay, super unlucky in money. Gemini. Sagittarius, right? Gemini and Sagittarius, super unlucky in money, especially if you have your Venus there. Other unlucky in money signs this year are going to be Aquarius, Sun, 
and rising, okay? Aquarius, sun and rising, maybe moon a little bit, but like sun and rising, and then way down here, uh, Leo, sun and rising, and I guess with the Venus as well, Leo, sun, rising, uh, Leo and Aquarius. Okay, so once again, let me do this again. Super unlucky in money, Gemini, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Leo. You guys got that? It's going to be a rough year for some of you guys. 2023 was a 2023 was a rough year for all of these guys. Now, the D, but 2023 was really just a prelude for what we're going through right now as I shoot the video. In the last week, and you guys, most of you guys are sunny siders. You know what's going on with everybody. And the last week was rough. And right now, we're getting into we're putting ourselves into position to push back and really get the, the hard elbow grease uh, set up. Uh, the difficulty, the biggest difficult, one of the biggest difficulties is that we've been through this several times in 2023. And as we're going through this for the final push, it feels like we're out of gas. <laughs> so like, but I, I implore you guys to dig deep and keep going because this is the final push. So once again, super unlucky, Gemini in love, Gemini, Sagittarius, absolutely getting divorced, breaking up in relationships. Uh, Virag, super unlucky in love, and Scorpio, unlucky in love. Scorpio is generally unlucky. Scorpio should not take chances. In <laughs> 2024, Scorpio, do not take chances. All right, Gemini, uh, I mean, super unlucky in money. Gemini, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Leo. Everybody got that? All right, next. Let's get on to the actual what we're here for. Okay, so who's lucky then, man? So like the other like a twenty five percent, like half the over, like they're all unlucky. What are you gonna do? Okay, well here we go. When I do the horoscopes, there are I'm looking at their weekly horoscopes or biweekly, right? Weekend horoscopes and weekly horoscopes, during the week horoscopes, and we look at different things. But I'm generally looking at short term trends and who's lucky in love for the weekend. And if it's a short term trend. <laughs> I'm often looking at Venus. Now, but now, having said that, Venus takes an entire year to navigate the chart or the zodiac. So everyone is short-term lucky in love at two, three times a year. For real. And I talk about this live on the channel. But that's not really what's going on. That's not extended luck kind of thing. And some other things have to hook in at certain times for that to really be applicable. They do hook in for everybody at very specific times. You can't really just lay it down like that. However, there are other things that lead towards general uh, luck and expansion, uh, just general luck and expansion. And we're looking at this, this year, we're looking at this part of the chart. Now, it's in Taurus. So who's the most, well, I'm, I might have to edit all this blah, blah, blah out, right? Okay, whatever. I haven't made a video in a while. So here we go. Super lucky in love for 2024. You guys got this? Super lucky in love for 2024 are going to be Taurus, Capricorn, and Aries. Taurus, Capricorn, and Aries. Now, normally when Aries is lucky in love, Sagittarius is also lucky in love. Just like Taurus is lucky in love, Capricorn is lucky in love. However, this year, Sagittarius, the luck, the lucky in love in Sagittarius's chart is completely negated. <laughs> so Sagittarius is super unlucky. That is a stronger influence than the lucky one. So you might, if Sagittarius is lucky in love this year, you will find that there will be problems with it. The same thing with Aries lucky in love. Aries is lucky in love this year. They are attracting. Aries is larger than life this year. Unfortunately, that Chiron, that little green guy right there, making Aries somewhat invisible. And people are forgetting Aries. They're getting the Aries name wrong, right? Or they're, they're, they're not seeing Aries. Aries is being left off the list right now. The Chiron is making Aries somewhat uh, invisible and a touch forgettable. So... But Aries is super lucky in love. Sagittarius, not so much. All right, so there we go. Super lucky in love. Taurus, obviously super lucky in love for this year. Capricorn, super, super lucky in love this year. Cap okay, uh, Aries, lucky in love. In addition to that, there is a massive unexpected vibe that's happening. Something uh, is going to happen uh, in that part of the chart in the spring. Now, for signs like Scorpio, 
that would be a relationship, some kind of unexpected mix up in the, or something funky is going to happen in Scorpio's committed relationships, like divorce or an unexpected marriage or an unexpected marriage proposal. The reason I'm not going all in on the Scorpio lucky in love is because I'm a Scorpio and I'm getting divorced. <laughs> so like, I was like, and anyways, no, that's not the, the only reason. The, there's, we have um, Saturn is causing problems in the Scorpio love life. So, you know, so keep so keep that in mind if you're a Scorpio. All right, next. So super lucky in love, Taurus, Capricorn, and Aries. Uh, problem with Aries, people are forgetting Aries. But that's okay with Aries. Lucky in money, super lucky in money. It's going to be... Oh, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, so once again, this is super unexpected. There's an unexpected thing happening in the spring for everybody. And... For signs like Capricorn, that's an accidental pregnancy. For signs like Sagittari um, you know, Sagittarius, you have to watch your health. Unexpected development in your job. Scorpio relationships. Libra, something unexpected is going to happen with your credit card, shared resources, and maybe your health. Libra, watch out. Watch your kidneys, Libra. Um, Aries, unexpected with money. There's more to this. As I was looking and writing this down, I was... There's some signs in here that's very clearly at certain times this year, some signs are going to be, uh, they might go to jail. Like You can very clearly see that there are signs of jail that's lining up for certain signs. Uh, there's also other signs like divorce that's very clear lining up for certain signs. I'm just talking about the love and money, the general love and money stuff in this fun video. But you can see some of that other stuff is lining up. So like, whatever, tune into the live stream if you want to check it. Okay, here we go. Let's speed through quickly now. Okay, so here we go. So, super lucky. Love, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries. Super lucky in money, Aries and Libra. Super lucky in money, Aries and Libra. Everybody cool? And so I would normally say like a Sagittarius and a Leo, but that's going to be a little bit tricky. So, Aries and Libra. All right, let's burn through this really quickly here. So, we'll do some more videos. Lucky in love, Aries. Quick, Aries, lucky in love. Yes, <laughs> lucky in money. Super yes. Aries is the luckiest sign in money this year. Taurus, lucky in love. Yes, lucky in money. Well, maybe, maybe not. Taurus is just generally pretty lucky this year, and they're attracting a lot. All right, next. Well, I guess, yeah, okay. Next, Gemini. No, Gemini. Very unlucky right across the board. Be very, very careful this year. Very, very careful. Gemini is one of the signs that might go to jail this year. So everybody be cool. Okay? So everybody be cool. Gemini might go to jail this year. Aries might go to jail this year. Everybody be cool. Uh, Capricorn might go to jail. You guys watch yourselves. Cancer. Anything happening with cancer? Cancer's having problems at a distance. Right? Problems at a distance. Problems at school. Uh, that's what's going on with Cancer, their philosophy, things at a distance problem. Maybe Cancer's having difficulty traveling. Uh, cancers are starting a new job and they should be very popular this year. Cancer, very, very popular. Lots of groups of people. You should meet lots, a lot of people this year. Leo, uh, something unexpected is going to happen to you very publicly this year. Something with your career is going to happen. So keep your wits about you. Uh, anything negative for Leo? Yep, Leo has to watch their money and shared resources. Absolutely. Virgo, everything is whatever, man. Virgo, relationships going to suck bananas for you a little bit, but school is going to be pretty good. You might get an opportunity to travel this year. Unexpected. Libra, relationships should be pretty good, but you are in a little bit of a funk. You are going through some kind of change. You're not so sure that you want what you want, and you're willing to try on a couple of masks as you go through the year. So go ahead, Libra. You're a pretty sign. Go do whatever you want. You know, go enjoy the day. All right, and don't be, you know, don't be insecure. You know, try some new stuff. All right, and money, unexpected monies this year. Scorpio, love, not so good. Unexpected things going to happen in relationships this year. I don't really see a lot, that, you know, <laughs> like seriously. Scorpio, unlucky in love. Next, <laughs> Scorpio. Sagittarius, no, nope, nothing. You're, you're going to have a lot of problems. But Sagittarius, you know, you have to just keep it cool. <laughs> it's going to be rough. Capricorn, accidental pregnancies, lucky in gambling, super lucky in gambling, super lucky in babies and making babies. 
Uh, Aquarius, your money is going to be tight this year. You're going to have to work really hard for money. So deal with that. You're going to have unexpected problems at home. Anything else with Aquarius? Fighting with groups of people. Pisces, you're going to have problems. You're going to, it's hard work. <laughs> you know, hard work and reality is coming to Pisces. Saturn doesn't really like it in Pisces. Pisces doesn't really like Saturn, but like, whatever, just learn to get along. It's going to be hard work. It's going to be reality-based year, which is like the opposite of what Pisces likes. And that's it. <laughs> and then we get back to Aries. Oh, Pisces should make a lot of money this year. Pisces should make a lot of money this year. Unexpected opportunities. You might get to buy a car or computer unexpectedly. And that's the deal, guys. That's the deal. We made it through. Ah, we made it through. <laughs> Please share the video to anyone who you think needs to know this stuff. If you want to study astrology, tune into the live stream. We do a lot of stuff like this on the channel. Uh, I might start teaching again in this, the new year, but there's a lot that's going on first. That's the action, guys. I hope everyone has a super amazing day. Remember to subscribe to the channel, share the video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see action from this. And leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what's going on with you guys. From the sunny side.net, I'm Sunny wishing everyone the best of a super amazing day. And I'll see you guys soon.